we have been running around far too much. It's all right. We've been active and our action has achieved a lot of good things. But the goal of action is contemplation. In other words, busy, 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 busy. But what's it all about? Especially when people are busy because they think they're going somewhere and they're going to get something and attain something. There's quite a good deal of point to action if you know you're not going anywhere. If you act like you dance or like you sing or play music, then you're not going anywhere. You're just doing pure action. But if you act with the thought in mind that as a result of action, you are eventually going to arrive at some place where everything will be all right, then you are on a squirrel cage. Hopelessly condemned to what the Buddhists call samsara, the round or rat race of birth and death. Because you think you're going to get somewhere. You're already there. And it's only a person who has discovered that he's already there who is capable of action. Because he doesn't act frantically with the thought that he's going to get somewhere. He can go into walking meditation where we walk not because we are in a great, great hurry to get to a destination but because the walking itself is great. The walking itself is the meditation. But the point is that one cannot act creatively except on the basis of stillness, of having a mind that is from time to time capable of stopping thinking. This is an impossible thing to put in words. The nearest I could get to it would be to say that if you could see this moment that you need nothing beyond this moment now sitting here irrespective of anything I might be saying to you of any ideas you might have rattling around in your brains that here and now is the absolute which than which there is no witcher. Only we prevent ourselves from seeing this because we're always saying, well, there ought to be something more. Aren't I missing something somewhere? You see? The perfectly wise man is the one who realizes vividly that the ideal place is the place where you are.